Hey guys, Walsh Pixie here, and I'm doing a tutorial for another kind of map generator for Terraria. This one uh, takes longer, it's a bit more complicated, it uses the Google Maps API. Uh, you get it at terrariamapgenerator.codeplex.com, I'll put that URL in the description. Yeah, you download it on the right hand side there. And it generates some uh, images like this, it, it's got lots of zoom levels. And it uses Google Maps, like I said, so it's got the little navigation zoom and stuff. So download this, and it'll save as a zip file. And I've extracted it to a folder on my desktop that I've called Terraria Google Map. And it's got a README in there. If you open the README, it shows you all the command line arguments, if they're required or optional, and what they mean. Down here, it's got some example uh, code that you can use. I've used that. I'll get that in a bit. And then viewing the map. It says included in the zip file is map.html. Open up this file and search for the following line. And then change the value to be the full path to where the map tiles are located. And I'll get to that shortly too. So firstly, what you want to do is copy this. Just highlight it all. Copy. And then in the folder where you've extracted the files from that zip, right click. New. Text document. Not rich text, just text and call it something like run map gen and change the extension on the end from txt to bat b a t that'll make it a little executable thing that you can run um, this is one i made earlier there but i'll work with this one so this will create this run map gen dot bat you will right click edit paste everything in there that you've just copied and what you've got there is terraria map tool dot exe and then it's got the path for terraria first Mine is in, or oh, this one is in C program file, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Terraria. So whatever you've got Steam installed, I got mine on the D drive, so I changed that. Put in there the path to where Terraria is installed in Steam. Then it's got World, so you need to direct it to your World file. Uh, I'm on Windows 7, so mine is in C Users, and then my username, Documents, My Games, Terraria, Worlds, and whichever world you want to use. And then you've got Output. This is where you want it to save to. So I created a folder on the desktop called Map. So I've changed mine there to C User uh, Desktop Map, and that's where it saves to. Then you've got the block size, the uh, layers drawn, and the number of zoom levels. Um, I just used the, what he's using in the example. I didn't change anything. Oops. Save that. So it's just this copied and pasted in. So uh, once you've changed all those, I'll delete that one and run the one I've just done. And let me just uh, exit this because it won't let me run a map while that's open. So I'm going to edit mine to run instead of world 1, I'm going to try it on world 4. So I change that. So this is going to take a long while to generate a lot of levels. So let me get these out of the way and tell you about the next bit. The next bit is this map.html. This is what you're going to use to view the map. So you need to right click, edit, and not far down from the top, after all these pretty ASCII things there, you've got var base path equals, and this in between the quotes there needs to be directing to whichever folder you've generated the map tiles in. So mine is C users Dell desktop map. So save that once you've put in the correct path. Close that and then right click open with whatever your browser is. I use Iron. So it should open here. And I need to scroll out to bring this up. Okay, this is the map that it generated. It's huge. Um, I'm not sure what world size this is. I think it's medium. Uh, three floating islands, not just a small world. And just to demonstrate how far you can zoom in, there. So it shows you everything. Uh, the black bits are sky, sky doesn't render properly in there yet. You can see the O, you can see vases, you can see everything. Cobweb. I saw a heart, a life heart in you earlier with copper, silver, gems, iron, 
If you go right down the bottom, there's the jungle. Crazy jungle. Some gold all there, the flowers. If you come down there and go, there's a heart. Two hearts. Um, now, I'm sure a lot of you watching this are going to say, OMG, that's cheating. I don't use this personally. I'm just doing a tutorial showing how one does use it. Um, for me, doing this is kind of, I don't know, silly. I like uh, discovering things on my own and having a nice surprise. The other map generator I, I use just to see how many floating islands I had. And I use it after I'm done looking at things to build them. Uh, after I've built things, rather, to see what they look like. Oh, uh, this is the little underground base that me and Yaku made when we were exploring down in the jungle. And you can see the little houses. That one's been stripped of its gold walls. Some obsidian there. We were obsidian mining. Um, but, yeah. So, uh, before you launch in with, that's cheating. Don't do it. Uh, each to their own. Some people might get fun out of using something like this. Some people will think it's cheating. That's fine. If you think it's cheating, don't use it. If you find find a use for it, then I hope you find this video useful to show you how to use it. So there you go. This is uh, how you run that map generator. And the, the link to the download will be in the video description. Bye!